We are thankful to the faith leaders who have joined us in this Eid festival which commemorates Abraham's sacrifice. Abraham is a central figure in Islam, Christianity and Judaism. Today, this Eid is historical in many ways. As His Eminence Sheikh Al Qadri mentioned in his speech, today Muslims are not only play, praying Eid at Crow Park, but also on this day of Eid, three Abrahamic faith leaders of Ireland have come together at this historic mo uh, moment. First of all, I would like to welcome His Great Archbishop Dermot Martin, Roman Catholic Ar Archbishop of Dublin, and Primate of Dublin to come forward and address us on this historic moment. The Archbishop was ordained a priest in 1969 and represented the Holy See at major United Nations international conferences before becoming the Archbishop of Dublin in 2004, succeeding Cardinal Desmond Connell. He went to the Oblate School in Inchicore, De La Salle Ballyfermot and UCD. He also studied in Rome. Here is Archbishop Dermot Martin. I'm very happy to have this occasion to wish the entire Muslim community in Ireland and especially those of you gathered here in Croke Park Eid Mubarak, warm wishes and blessings, Kogardas. This is a very propitious moment for the Muslim community in Ireland. On the one hand, we're all saddened that we are unable to host large celebrations in our places of worship due to the coronavirus measures. On the other hand, there's something special at having this Muslim celebration here in Croke Park. Croke Park is a special gathering place for Ireland and for all Irish. Croke Park has a special place in the history of Ireland. It's associated with joyful, significant, but also very tragic moments in the history of our country. Today it's a place where distinguished visitors come. There's a very interesting museum here in Croke Park. However, I think we can also truly say that the entire Croke Park Stadium is a living museum still being created year by year. I think of the visit of Queen Elizabeth. I had the honour to accompany Pope Francis here on his visit in Ireland. It's a place of great sporting occasions and lesser known local events. Croke Park is part of this local community. Every year at Christmas, several hundreds of elderly people come together for a meal at Christmas. There's a conference centre here which focuses each day of the year on the economic, cultural and educational needs of the future of Ireland. But today marks a new chapter in the history of Croke Park. Today our celebration is a gesture of recognising publicly the place of the Muslim community as an integral part of the family of the Irish. And we recognise the contribution of your Muslim community to the Ireland of today and of tomorrow. I'm honoured that you've kindly invited me as Archbishop of Dublin, leader of the Catholic community of believers in Jesus Christ, to be part of your celebration. I feel very much at home with you. I'm happy over the years to have been guest at so many Muslim celebrations and have had Muslim leaders share in our Christian celebrations. The message of Pope Francis for this year's Ramadan stressed how the month of Ramadan, he says, is so central in your religion and therefore dear to you at personal, family and social levels. It's a time, he said, of spiritual healing and growth, of sharing with the poor, of strengthening bonds with relatives and friends. When Pope Francis visited a mosque in Baku, Azerbaijan in 1916, he said that meeting one another in fraternal friendship in a place of prayer is a powerful sign 
one that shows the harmony which religions can build together based on personal relations and the goodwill of leaders. This morning, I share the joy of Muslim families who enrich our Irish culture through their hard work, their family life, their creativity. I think of the manner in which the younger generations of Muslims in Ireland can today proudly profess their faith and can shape the place of Islam in Irish culture. I don't know if your children would like to be called Irish Muslims or Muslim Irish. The truth is they're both, and proudly so. And we need and we all welcome their contribution to our future. The message to which I referred earlier, the Vatican message, focused especially on places of worship. Places of worship, as, the, as was said, for spaces for spiritual hospitality. I'm humbled by the spiritual hospitality that I'm receiving here this morning, and I thank you. The document on human fraternity and world peace and living together, signed by Pope Francis and the Grand Imam of Al Hazar in Abu Dhabi in February 2019, spoke about the protection of places of worship, the importance and the significance of our places of worship. Places of worship are important. However, places of worship are more than just bricks and mortar. More fundamental is the witness that's fostered and grows within our places of worship and emerges from them into today's world. Witness to the God who is full of mercy and compassion. Christians, Muslims and Jews share a common responsibility to witness to what is demanded today from any true believer in the God who is full of mercy and compassion. Our places of worship, our gatherings, must be places where all intolerance is shunned and respect is learned. Our hearts must be hearts that are open to embrace and not reject. Our hands must be hands that support and help and do not push aside. Our mentality must be a mentality that is inspired by compassion and not judgmentalism. Our world can be so harsh, it really needs mercy and compassion. Our city here is tarnished by violence. We hear stories of racism and intolerance. We watch as poverty and precariousness grow and new insecurity strikes many families. Our world needs a common witness to what mercy and compassion mean. And in a world where many have difficulty in finding faith in God, we all have to examine our individual cons consciences to see how we have failed to show convincingly in our, in our lives how God is not just an abstract, distant figure, but the one who teaches us all what mercy and compassion mean. In the current coronavirus crisis, all of us owe a debt of gratitude to our healthcare workers, and we know that those healthcare workers represent the best of our Irish, new and old, believers and non-believers, who've worked together tirelessly with care and compassion. For Muslims, Ramadan is a moment of, as I said earlier, spiritual healing and growth, of sharing with the poor, and of strengthening bonds with relatives and friends. We join in your celebration, and we know that together we can be a forceful presence in the Ireland of tomorrow for spiritual growth, for sharing with the poor, and for building friendship. These are the basis of lasting peace in our society and in our world. And I go away today, I will go away today, hopeful for what we can achieve together with the help of God 
who is full of mercy and compassion. Amen. A warm round of applause for Archbishop Jim McMartin. And just to, to tell you as well that Daily Mass will be broadcast here on RT News now on this very channel when this service is over. Thank you, Archbishop Dermot Martin, for that lovely message. I think all of us today can take something home from that.